Hey guys, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Man, we got a lot of stuff going on on the farm. Got old Butch here. Butch is one of the new puppies we got. He's a blue healer mix. But wanted to tell you what's going on on the farm today. I'm gonna set Butch down. We've got a lot going on. I've got the crew working to smooth the land right over here. And up here we're clearing uh, roughly 100 acres. This 100 acres of clearing will probably happen over the next four years progressively. It just costs too much. We're probably at about $25,000 right now and we've only cleared eh, 35 acres or so. It's okay, it's all right, we've got some work to do. I want to take you around the farm today and show you what's going on. This is the Massey Ferguson 240 tractor and that's my V-rake. That's right, it's hay season. It's getting ready to be hay season. So today's task are to hook up to the hay cutter. It's called a hay bind, it's made by New Holland. We'll go over and we'll start cutting some hay. We'll show you some of that in the next vlog. But most importantly today, I've got a big brush pile burning up here. I've got two loads of gravel coming in and we have a barn going up tomorrow. So I'll show you all that stuff as it progresses. Come along with me today. We'll take you up. We'll show you where we're putting the barn. I'm smoothing the area out and the load of gravel should be here sometime within the next hour. We'll get the gravel all smoothed out and get our area prepared for our barn. Now this is a steel building and you'll get some more on this as the barn project progresses. We're going to prep the area where they're going to put the barn. I've already had the bulldozer guys kind of smooth the spot out and then we'll take the tractor pack it down and we'll wait on our gravel to come so come on along with me today i'll show you what's going on on the farm we'll start getting busy in the next few vlogs here cutting hay mowing hay if you don't know how to do it we'll teach you how we'll show you what we learned along the way all right thanks guys come on with me Woo! stony bridge Man, guys, I can't tell you how difficult it is just to get this stuff up and running and this juggling act of having to manage the timber crew over here and the guys over here putting up the building and the guys that are doing all the stumping and brush clearing. And look at this. This is our new yard. Look how open it is. We opened that thing up. I'm going to say it went from around two acres to around hmm, six acres or so. We'll take the drone up in the air. We'll fly above all this stuff show you the guys at work, show you the big fire we got going on, and show you the area where we're going to put the building. First thing we got to do is we got to drop the pallet forks with the quick disconnect. And I want to show you this sink. We got a three bay sink right here and a prep table. And we got that for when we start processing game and when we start processing uh, chickens and stuff like that here on the farm. I want to build a dedicated game processing area and outdoor game processing area. Another couple things we got, but these are old barn logs that we're going to use in the house when we get ready to build it. And we'll get them under cover here. It's it's, they're drying out right now and it's okay. It rained on them a couple days ago. And we're gonna put this bucket on and we're gonna go over here and smooth out where we're gonna put the building. I'll take you over there and show you real quick before we start smoothing. So the problem we ran into here on the farm is that we just have all this stuff. I mean, we got trailers and grapples and there's a grapple and plows and, and hay making equipment over here. And all this stuff needs to go under cover, guys. I can't leave it out in the rain. So the least expensive option was one of these metal buildings. We call them wet West Virginia carports around these parts but this is a pretty nice building it's set up to take 150 mile an hour winds a good snow load for around here it doesn't snow very much here but this is the area right here where we're going to put it and you can see where the dozer has gone in or the loader has gone in and scraped back and smoothed out an area right here so I'm going to take the tractor smooth a little bit more pack it down a little bit and then my gravel truck will be here in just a few minutes now the goal with the gravel truck there's buddy hey buddy anyway the goal with the gravel truck I have no attention span. The goal with the gravel is to have some gravel down when we put our building down versus burying the, the uh, bottom rails on the building with gravel. We want to set the, the building down on the gravel. Oh, by the way, right there, there's the big fire. We've got the bulldozer and excavator out here. I say bulldozer, but it's really a, a, a loader. It's a Caterpillar 963 loader. Big fire going back here with the brush pile. They had a little breakdown, so they've stopped working for a little bit. At the end of the video, I'll throw the drone up in the air and you can see the progress that's gone on so far and get a little idea of how much land we're clearing and how much there is to go. I'll walk you through, talk you through everything that's going on there at the end of this video. Guys, this is the point where you click that like button. If you like what you see, leave me some comments there after the end of the video if you can. And there's a little bell down on one of these sides. If you're not getting notifications when I send out videos, it's because you haven't clicked that little bell. 
If you click that bell, it'll send you a notification when we pop up new videos. You'll get to see this building go up over here. You'll get to see the hay cutting, all the stuff that's going on on the farm. Busy, 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 busy time of year. Check it out. Let's smooth this area out. So the area that we've kind of prepped here, we've smoothed out a little bit. We'll pack it down by riding over it a little bit with the tractor. But what we got to think about with this building, we're kind of on a slight grade. We got to think about water, okay? Which way is the water going to go? So I'm going to take the tractor, and I've already started, but I'm cutting a ditch on either side of this area, and we'll make sure that this area sits up a little bit higher once we put gravel on it so we don't have a river flowing through there. Anytime you're thinking about putting a building up or anything on your farm, be it where your garden is placed, be it where your driveway is placed, you always have to think, which way is the water gonna go? And we're gonna decide which way the water goes by cutting this ditch right here. So there's a slight grade on this hillside, and hopefully this will prevent water issues. If we do have water issues, we can always cut a small ditch around this area to stop the water and direct it through what I'm getting ready to build right here. Cool? So check it out. Show you how to do it. So I cut my ditch right here. I kind of ran back over it good with the tractor to kind of pack it smooth so it kind of rolls over instead of looking like a rough edge. And we've got this area all prepped and ready for the gravel to come out. Gravel truck should be here in about 10 minutes. We're waiting on the gravel truck. We're gonna go ahead and put some stakes in with, a, with the hammer here and mark our corners. First, we're gonna mark them with paint. And in case we need to move it, we can just take our foot and kick over and, and scratch the paint out. So when you order a building like this and you're putting it up, you don't have anybody to dream for you and tell you what to do. You've got to think about it in your head exactly how you want it, exactly where you want it. This is a 26 by 36. May not seem that big, but this little area right here, it's going to be tight right here. I, I didn't think it would be that tight. I told him to clear me an area that's 50 by 50. So the thought process is here, if we build a 26 by 36 and we want to put lean-tos onto the side of it at some point, even just a half lean-to so we can park like the gator or something else underneath it, it'll be easier, it'll be cheaper, and we'll already have a building in place. So we've got to think about that when it comes to doing this. How are we going to place our building? Things you got to think about. A lot of stuff to think about here on the farm when you're building starting from scratch. So I'm going to go out here and I'm going to establish a corner stake and then we're going to do some measuring and we're going to try to mark off our area for our building here. And now we've got a rainstorm coming in which is super awesome. So we're totally getting rained out right now. We got the dump truck sitting right here ready to go but we're totally getting rained out. I'm not going to stand up there in the rain and watch him show him where to dump so we're going to wait just a few minutes pain in the butt. Sometimes I wish I had smell-o-vision. Check this out. So I put some eggs down in here. I put the egg basket and forgot it was there and went tromping through the field and spilt the eggs and cracked them. And if you guys had smell-o-vision, you would understand it stanks. Danky stanky. Stanky danky. So the rain screwed us. See this? This spot was dry as a bone 20 minutes ago. Now, I gotta spread all the gravel instead of the truck spreading all the gravel. Rain got us, screwed us, bummer. Slick as snot. So normally a gravel truck like this can come in and drive and dump and spread. Now I got all this stuff to get up. So this whole disaster would have been all fine and dandy had it not rained for 15 stinking minutes. So now I guess you get to get some footage of me taking the tractor and spreading the gravel out on this area. I have it marked out here uh, as square as basically I could get it. Uh, the building guys will know where to put it. So let's get busy, let's get to work, spread this daggone gravel. Do something we can be proud of today. All right. Woo! Well 
guys, you can see how far we got so far. Not very far. I've got to go ahead and get all the rest of this gravel spread. He's bringing another load out. We're going to get all this smoothed out, spread out. And in the next vlog or two, we'll show you putting up this building. It's pretty cool how they put it up. It's like a one day process. These guys come out, they've got a system. They bang it out in one day. It's awesome. 26 by 36 building going up. Stay with me, click that like button guys. Don't forget to click that bell down there. Give you a notification when I send you another video. I appreciate you. Leave some comments if you want to. Thanks a lot. This is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer.